Yo, what's up, man? <clears throat> How was lunch? It was your field good. guide. I'm most <clears throat> pleased to be included. Ate some Japanese food, you know. But it was Japanese food from the 7-Eleven, so yeah. I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. Ah. I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. Giraffe? And he would oh. carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted, and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me, and was hit. Aww. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Mm. I think Mama Onai basically is looking for another Daddy Onai in Scotland. <laughs> They heard from the wind, trees, and talkative astra. You know, the portraits can talk too, right? So news can travel faster as well. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. Can we be daddy or not? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> what does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer. But I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Maybe the mother saw that her future daddy or I will be in Scotland, Hogwarts. That's why she came here, you know? She can see it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. Oh. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. 
We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Can she Thank see you the tomorrow lottery number? Mm. You deserve all of the praise you have received. <laughs> Let's go ask um, Mama Onai. <laughs> Look at the Christmas dinner they're having, man. God damn. You know, I really wish that I could sit down. It would be like so nice to just chill next to some people here, you know? <laughs> okay, so that conversation is done. Let's see what the quest is there. We have the Absconder one or the Cursed Tomb Treasure. I want to do the treasure as well, but I'm trying to figure out like... <clears throat> where the hell is that? tip you know question is is there any other quests along the way i think i've done almost all the quests already at this point so <clears throat> where is the tip You were at the tip one point, at one point. Are you serious? I mean, I was everywhere on the map at one point, right? So that doesn't really help. <laughs> I... At the tip. I keep thinking that it's on this side, but I, can't, I don't know why. Let's look at the thing again. <laughs> Alright. So, there is a tip, and there is some creek water, and then there is some water with some weird stuff. So, it's like two stream and one tip. That is a weird sentence. <laughs> two stream and one tip. The only tip I can think of is this one. This one right here. Right? And then there's this whole bunch of stuff here. Right? You know? It makes sense because it looks like it. Right? So that means inside here, there is a forest that looks like this. You know what? Let's try. I think I might be right. Because that is the only place with the tip. <clears throat> Excuse me. And a little bit of that water, water thingy stuff, you know. Let's try. I might be right, but at the same time, I might be wrong too. Who knows? I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. What is this? Tomb of Treachery. Yeah, I don't know if I am the... I'm supposed to go there right now. I was also there with you during a stream. <laughs> okay, I gotta go high and then look low. Alright. I have to look for the... So... It's here. It says here. But then it says here. That means, is it near the water area? Or is this arrow pointing to this cross here? You know? And then this looks like the Merlin Trowel. <laughs> A 
abandoned long ago, no doubt. I don't see myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own operation worked out one day. People working for me. Hmm. Fancy. Okay, maybe it's not here. Maybe it's on this side here. You know, I'm thinking that it's possible that it's not at that cross area, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> Revelio. Okay. What is this here? Incendio. Good for you. Rebellio. I think that's a that's a treasure vault that I already been inside before. You're overthinking. I think I might be overthinking. I don't know why. It cannot be here. There's no way it's here. You know? It has to be this. Maybe it's the Tomb of Treachery, you know? I think I was stuck on this for a while. I want to believe it's the Tomb of Treachery because what lies there is literally there. nothing else here except for this tomb which I've never been inside before. So, ergo... Where on earth is this leading me? I think this might be it. Revelio. Okay, please be right. Huh. I was stuck on this for a while. How long is a while though? <clears throat> Gringotts Bank. Oh. Revelio. I think this might be it because just now I, I remember seeing a letter saying that it's pointing to someone called 14 or something like that. Considering the bones, I'll assume this is a tomb. Revelio. Mr. Woodring. Okay. I might be at the right place. Confringo. Okay, that song. How could people afford tomb in this economy? I have no idea, man. I can't even afford a rock right now. <clears throat> you know the rock on top of the tomb? I am bet that costs a lot. Oh crap. Glaciers. 
Bastia. Incendium. Rebellion. Ain't left is simply too many. Why is this door locked? Yes. Why is eight legs is definitely too many? Good for you. The first piece of the puzzle. Oh crap. Lumos. Have to do this one by one. One down, two to go. <laughs> Can bring up. Must be something I don't feel really climb on. Akio. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. Wow, Tana animated the bodies that lay within to turn on me. Wow. So that means we have to fight against Inferi for sure. Akio, Revelio. What's that? Revelio Lumos Fight a furry. Why do I fight a furry? Revelio In furry <laughs> Not fight a furry, no In furry what are they oh, protecting? Accio! It's... Who brings them? Places! Accio! Incendio! Places! Who brings them? Bombarder! Let's hope you stay dead this time. <gasps> this is it. Hmm. A nine volt on the map. This is it. This is it. I found a place. Rebellion. Yes, I was right. I was right. So I'm guessing if you came here for the first time, you wouldn't know what to do with this until you have the, the this thing. So let's see what it says. It says that you need to do flipendo on the... But where the hell is this though? Like I've never seen this before. Where the hell is this thingy? You know, probably outside. Maybe I have to walk out a little bit to see, you know. Ugh. Okay, so uh, upside down V V V. All right, let's do this. Oops. Uh, wait. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. My brain is not working today. Which side? Oh, okay, okay, right. There we go. That's a that's the Merlin trout you cheat with the broom. Eureka. Yeah, I know. Eureka. Rebellion. Glad to have got something after defeating those in theory. Ooh.
Okay, looks like I got a very nice outfit. Let's take a look. Where's that outfit? Do you know what's the outfit called? I think I may have lost it already. <laughs> Treasure Seeker Attire. Ah, this one. Wow. Kind of fit this entire outfit that I have going on right now. Oh, right. That makes sense. Because you know why? This literally is the treasure outfit. Treasure Seeker Long Coat. Where's the Treasure Seeker Hat? Treasure Seeker Hat. Where is it? There it is. Perfect. There's a golden snitch, um, golden snitch scarf. Where is it? This is nice. Yes. <laughs> you look like you're from Assassin Creed. I know. <laughs> Funny. <clears throat> Can I get out Rebellion. here? I have to walk back by myself. Thanks, game. <sighs> Wait, wrong way. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> okay, at least we're done with that quest. Okay, where is that Merlin Trout that I done? Is it around here? Oh shit, it's right there! There it is! I. I passed it. Oh my god, it's literally right here. Yep. Okay, there is a troll. Rebellion. Should we fight a troll? Sure. I need to complete a lot of troll quests anyway. Okay, let's move on to the next quest, shall we? I feel like I should still I feel like I should do the spider quest. Okay. We have to stop being a little wimp and do the spider quest, alright? The spider quest has been around for a while and I have been <laughs> eluding it. What? The game doesn't... <laughs> Did they patch the game or not? <laughs>
I'm safe to explore in there. The question is, did I take down the the the, the troll? Did my troll take down count? Revelio. Because if that troll did not get taken down, I feel sad. Was this a respawn or what? Total three crashes. Oh, I mean, three crashes is still not so bad. Hello. Let me open. I have to kill another one, right? Yeah. Let me open. Okay, now we do the spider quest. Please no crash, okay? Maybe they, the game doesn't want me to do spider quests. I became hesitant on my fast, first on my fast tra travel. Really? Is it because of that particular, particular flu part? Oh the my god. dark in there. Never stopped me before. Revelio. Looks like we're doing more trolls. Oh my god. Why? Why god? <laughs> What the hell? What the hell? Bro! Oh my god, did he kill the troll? He killed my troll! Are you serious? He killed my troll. He took my troll last hit. Bro. I have to watch that again. Did my troll get taken away from me? I gotta save the game now. This has crashed too many times already.
Maybe we don't teleport that far. Maybe we teleport a little bit closer. How's that? Okay. I cannot fast travel. Anymore. I cannot fast travel whatsoever. <laughs> oh god, what's happening? I had to fight the troll five times? This is not what I was thinking, man. Please tell me I already saved the game. Okay, thank god. Accio! Incendio! Rebellion! Alright, let's see if I can still teleport. Is it gonna crash the game? We'll find out. Please. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It worked. It worked. Jesus Christ, bro. Now, Revelio. we fight spiders. Wait, quick question. Do I have enough steamies? I have nine steamies. We are not fighting spiders. We are not fighting spiders. We need to get full steamies. Let's go. I don't do well with spiders, so we need all the steamies we can get. Those crashes are ridiculous, man. Never seen anything like it before. Say hold of Sep's quest. Okay, I'm doing spiders anyway. So yeah. Actually, brew a uh, Felix Felicius. Yes, I can. Oh my God, that's a lot. I don't think I ever need it though, but might as well. All right, here we go. Spider time. Please save. I'm so paranoid right now. Oh my God, like you, like you. I have to fly a little bit outside and hope I don't crash. That is so weird. Why would it crash though? How nice yeah. to see you, my young <clears> friend. Now you me. Rebellion. Oh shit, there's stuff here. There's stuff here. 
Oh my god. They're everywhere. Where can I land? Holy crap. Those things are huge. I'm scared for my life, man. Bombarder. Couldn't bring up. Place Expelling on. Let me know, sir. Descend on. Bring up. Confringo! Rebellion! Blazing! Bombarda! Expelliarmus! Rebellion! This reminds me of a movie called Eight-Legged Freaks. <laughs> Anything to do with spiders, keep me out of it, man. Confringo! Okay, before we go in, I have to understand what is this quest about because I haven't I forgot who gave me the quest I need to find the absconder cave it should be the for forbidden forest to the northwest this thing so I'm guessing they want the venomous the va uh, venomous poison or something in there the cave must be somewhere in this maze I wonder what else is in here Revelio. uh you know Bodies and m many dead people. Confringo. Descendo. Levioso. Glaces. Confringo. Revelio. I'm so afraid right now, by the way. Oh shit! Rebellion. Oh my god, do you see that? Do you see that? Holy shit, scary shit. Where are they coming from, man? Rebellion. Oh, Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> Please don't ambush me. Oh my god. Confringer. Rebellion. <laughs> what happens if I go here? Oh, it's the same way. I think it's the same way, just different route. Okay, never mind. We just follow the path, right? We just follow the path. Rebellion. Why is this level thirty? Rebellion. Oh, crap. Rebellion. Hey? 
root of the problem. What's that? Stun 10 different enemy using a mandrake. Did I just use a mandrake by accident? <laughs> I just used a mandrake by accident. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, at least we're done with that quest. That's funny. Accidental trophies, man. I'll take it. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Are you kidding me? So this entire time, this wasn't even in the cave? Descendo. Confrigo. Revelio. Release. Oh, shit. Of course. Oh my god, you hairy... Hairy piece of shit, man. Places. Jesus. Oh god, oh god. Where is this? Where's his younglings, man? Where's his younglings? I need his younglings. Where's his younglings? Christ, man. <sighs> now all that's taken care of. Oh my god. For my daughter. Holy shit, level 40, man. It was a level 40 boss. Jesus Christ, man. Rebellion. Oh my god, no wonder it requires me to be this high level to take it down. I could never figure out how the hell do you how the hell do you like uh like dodge when it attacks you multiple times it's like its attacks were so fast my dodging was so slow you know Rebellion. I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. I honestly don't know where these all lead, but I'm Rebellion. guessing that. Promise me no more spiders. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I think so. I think I can promise that. To think that I can actually fly into this area all this time. Where is this area? Oh my god, it's right in here. Right in the heart of it. Ugh, Jesus. Jesus, man. Confringo. 
Most used spell while in the forest. Confringo. <laughs> I I am quite certain that when I Oh god, not again. Let's confringo this whole forest. <laughs> you bet, man. Oh, there's a chest there. I'm trying to make sure that I don't miss out any loot. Shit, more spawns up there. But I don't think those spawns matter to me anymore. These are like just wow spawns already. Okay, we are going back to whoever gave me this force for... Oh my god, unforgivable quest, man. It's a good thing that I left this quest until now. Because I was not strong enough to take it the first time I had to take it down. I think the first time I took down that, that spider was so difficult. I take it you decided again, Santa, in the Absconder's cave then? Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I like a reward, obviously. This was quite difficult to retrieve. Shouldn't I get a reward for my trouble? I, uh, of course I'm happy to pay you. I, I can't afford much. I've promised to pay for all the supplies Milo's daughter will need to attend Hogwarts one day. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I feel bad. This guy is helping the kid's daughter to get into school and I want to take the money. Okay, if I'm playing as Karen, obviously, I would say the second option. But for me, as the first character, Bob the wizard would never would never do such a thing, you know? In that case, all right. Here's the heirloom watch. Oh, thank you. I know that Milo's daughter will be glad to have this. What do you have for sale? Please tell me you have a broom. Tell me you have Milo a broom. Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and nope. his daughter has something to remember him by. Noise. Not bad. Okay, <clears throat> we are down to the last two. Both of them was a Sebastian quest, you know? Both of them are Sebastian quests, so unless I have something else to do, we have to continue with the Sebastian quest. You know? Like, it only makes sense. I literally done everything already. Okay, maybe not everything, obviously, because I just figured out that this is how you track what kind of shit that is going on. And I don't have a collection treasure chest in this area. <laughs> uh... It's okay. Uh, I'm guessing 88 would want to... You haven't done Professor Bay. Have anyone ever done Professor Bay yet, you know? <laughs> I think all the other side quests like the collections and stuff, I'll do it at my own time. But main quest wise, let's continue first. So I think anything to do with the side quests for uh, Sebastian, that is more for like the uh, Avada Kedavra, right? So we'll do that a bit later, but I think we'll continue with this one first. Hey, this quest requires you to come through this area. So this is the first time ever in a quest where it requires you to actually access the bottom part of the map. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Wait, you haven't done Professor Bay. Wait, wait, which 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 quest are you referring to? Which quest are you referring to though? I'm trying to go through the, the quest name and not forget. 
Ooh, we have shit. Looking for someone to check on a friend. Tangled web. Oh man, not another spider quest. Ah, you haven't fertilized her field, of course. <laughs> of course. Okay, we'll do one more side quest. God damn it. S more spiders again. It is wonderful to see you back here. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh my god, I almost sold this. What the hell? Well, tell him more spiders. We got more spiders to do first. There's a damage buff against spiders. We can add to your clothes. Uh, yeah. Oh, I do hope Mary and her neighbors aren't harmed. Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet, just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, what before you I go what on, line? I should ask, are you afraid of spiders? Yes, obviously. <laughs> I'm terrified of spiders. <laughs> ah! I may be a student, but I may be able to help. Wait, who says that line? I mean, I know my main character said it, but... What is that line referring to? Is this what he said at the start of the game? Is that what you're referring to? Okay, do I tell him I'm a terrified of spiders? Oh, he said that during character creation! Oh, that's the line! Ah, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, all right. I think when I create my second character and stuff, I will figure this out too. Okay, do I tell him my true feelings? Because if I pay, if I play a Karen, obviously Karen is not afraid of anything, so Karen will say spiders don't bother me. So for me, I would say I'm terrified of spiders. You wouldn't know it by how many I've killed lately, but honestly, I'm terrified of spiders. Lucky you. Sounds as though you've been able to overcome your fears to a degree. You may not like what I have to say next. The Hamlet's overrun with the vile things and are acting abnormally aggressively. Why? I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable, but why don't you check on her yourself? I would. But I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the Ugh. entire Hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape at all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. Oh, I God! Leave, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Oh, God! Oh. Wow, that, that mental image just gave me chills down my spine. 
Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tribe Minister Spout old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. I'll try my very best, Mr. Don. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. I They'll find Aaron just southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. I expect money from this. Okay, let's see what level is this spider because this is getting ridiculous, man. The amount of spiders in this game is just... Level 15. Level 15 sp Oh, this has to be easy, man. Easy. I just took down a level 40 max level spider, man. Don't you worry, little man. Wait, why can I... Level 15. Pfft. Easy. <laughs> this must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Oh my god, they really did re Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, that was that was a freaking jump scare! <laughs> I was looking at the webs on the on the on the freaking houses and then <sighs> Were we just here? Yes we were! I just got my reward from the dude and then we came back and now he's infested. <laughs> okay, no more jump scares, okay? Am I getting damage? Revelio. Oh, good lord. Okay. Wow. Let me take a look at this city, okay? Sorry, this town. So, all of a sudden, there's so many spider webs. Really well done. Like, I hate it, but. Graphic wise, really, really outdone themselves. Oh. Rebellio. Confirm. Rebellio. This cellar gate looks to be locked. I'll need a key to enter. Wonder who lives here. Must be Mary. Oh no. Oh no. I have delivered the spider venom and required a prompt payment. And now it's due. The new cluster of spiderling in my cellar workshop has almost hatched. Oh man. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Oh god. Why? Why, Mary? Why? Fun fact more spiders would wrap their victims and inject them with poison. <sighs> god damn, I can't believe I'm doing this. That's your fact of the day. Thank you, man. 
Revelio. So this is why. Hey. This, this is why married by the spiders are not here now. Revelio. Spiders have gone somewhere. Oh my god, all the eggs. Who in the right mind would want to hatch crap? Oh they gone underground. A Not sure I want to know where this leads. When well, yet we are going down. I'd and best yet. be ready for whatever I may find down there. I swear to god. Eh, where am I going? Rebellion. Jesus Christ, man. This cave is huge. Exact. This... I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Confringo! That's one exact destroyed. I should get the rest. Rebellion! Confringo! Did Mary dig this out? I think so. She is one nuts lady, man. Rebellion. This Mary really had too much time on her hand, man. Confringo. Rebellion. Okay, let's start at the right side. Rebellion. Actually, we came from here, right? So let's start at the bottom right. <clears throat> Why, woman? She dug this entire cavern just for spiders. Good for you. Rebellion. Damn, As that spider just popped up and died. Ugh. My elementary school mascot was a tarantula. What? Talk about. Inflicting phobia to kids. Oh, finished. But I need to destroy all of the exacts. Confringo! I can't let you home out and share any more than you already have. This lady is crazy, man. She didn't think about like containing the spiders at least. I finally found a perfect place to breed my spider colony. Oh I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Uh, no shit, we found out. She wanted silk and the poison, Rebellion. apparently. Jesus, man. <gasps> what the hell? Oh. oh my god, I think my soul just left my body. I swear my soul just left my body. <laughs> the thing just crawled over the edge. Revelio.
Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. I hate to think that they see me, but I don't see them. Revelio. Confringo. These eggs must be destroyed. Glacius. Confringo. Bombarder. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Revelio. Cast the fiend. Confringo. Confringo. Oops. My bad. My bad. Oh my god! Oh, yes, we've been jump scared by, by spiders. We didn't do the set quest because apparently there's a lot of spider quests. I'm like, so... Oh shit, okay. Alright. I thought that was the source of the eggs already. Wasn't that? Revelio. How big is this cellar, man? This ain't no cellar. This is a freaking cave. That's a this is a freaking cave. Oh my god. Oh wait. That's the last one. It's a Nice. I don't like Mary, me too. I hate Mary. She's the worst character in this game. Who in the right mind want to breed spiders knowing that spiders in the Hogwarts world can be this freaking huge man. But thankfully they're not as big as the previous spider, the level 40 one. That one's crazy man. Revelio. Hagrid loves them. Yeah, Hagrid is a different breed as well. Okay. We are done with this entire place. Maybe we can renovate this entire cave to be like a 
uh, I don't know, a strip club or something, you know? Wouldn't that be better? Yeah, I know, right? Can you imagine? Strip club <laughs> under your cellar. Perfect place, man. Will there be any males in the strip club? Uh, we'll try to have a mix, yeah? <laughs> we'll call it Silky Smooth now! <laughs> okay, all the spider webs are still here. So once we finish the quest, we'll come back again. Then this whole place should be okay already. I'm guessing. <laughs> this guy better pay me money, man. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Mr. Don, I have some news. Thank Merlin about my sweet friend Mary. Yeah, she was a victim of her own greed. She was an innocent victim. No, no. This I don't care if I'm not Karen right now. I'm gonna go with the second one because there is no freaking way, you know, that if you breed spiders, you didn't think of the consequences. You know, she is no innocent lady. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend, but you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. Uh-huh. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the hamlet's rebuilding. No, I want money. To be of help. Money. And I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. I want money, the man. Dearly departed Mary. What sort of thing are we looking for? Hey, he sells stuff. Well, that's interesting. Thank you for stopping in. Be sure to visit us again soon. Sure. Alright, we are done with this quest, thankfully. Let's check out world map. Alright, world map. What quest do you have for me? I think we're pretty much done with almost every single quest except for Sebastian, so let's do the one with the Avada Kedavra one because I want to do that. You know? Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, I swear, game. I swear, okay. Oh, by the way, 88, I tried to do the quest. Like um, because there was, a, there was a patch for this game, right? Yeah, I tried to go to the cave. I still float to the sky, so yeah. Patch didn't work. <laughs> It crashed so many times, it's not even funny, man. Oh shit, don't die. Hello, Sebastian. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? I hope Anne doesn't die, though. Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. 
I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realised something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. Oh, no. Oh, no. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice? Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Wow. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the Ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the Ministry. He didn't part ways with them well, from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. Okay. See you soon. Alright, I guess this is not that quest yet, but it should be soon. So... I think what we can do instead is that we can do his main quest first. Alright, and then we'll probably meet up with him again on his second quest, you know. Where is the date? The date is with four people. It's a foursome in the catacomb. Romantic, you know. It's three guys and one chick. Oh, Nothing no. Nothing pleasant about this coast. Keep in mind that chick is like disabled-ish. So yeah, it's worse. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh. Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Wow, that is... That is very, very... Harsh on me. But, you know, Karen will answer the second one next time. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine, I'll defer to your keeper friends, for now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. All right, let's go. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Oh, I know where to go. They're referring to this area here. I've already defeated the, 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 this thing, so... Oh man, we can teleport there. Alright, I know where to go. Rebellion. But the question is, is there still bad guys up there? Because I took them all down, so I'm guessing there is still. Like over there, you see? So many bad guys. Hello. What was that? Accio! Incendio! Bombarder! Incendio! Levioso, Gracie, Vindo, 
Revelio. All of Randolph's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Let's go. If you're taken down, uh, overhead. Some consider rebellion. Mm. Oh, that's not choice, everyone yeah. does. Oh, I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. I feel like Sebastian's a bit hot-headed right now. I know it's all about Anne and stuff, but come on, man. I'm helping you. You don't have to put attitude on me. You know, I'm on your side. But when I'm Karen, I'm not on your side. I'm going to bitch about it, you know. So this is the little bubble where if you cannot fly in, you know. You have to walk. I bet the Thestral Nest is close by. Revelio! Kill okay. any of trespass! Oh man. There they are. Let's go. Wait. Right. We should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Wow, oh, this is Sebastian. Such arrogance. No! Thinking. I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Damn, man, Sebastian. You gotta chill out, bro. It's a good thing I'm quite strong right now. I took down so many spiders, you know. Huh. Sebastian's a top. What the hell, man? There's a fire pit. Yeah, I was here before. Actually, I realized it doesn't do anything. You know? Revelio. At least, I don't think it does anything. Like, nothing happened after that. Does it do anything? <laughs> Move, Sebastian. Let's go. He heats your water. Everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? Ridiculous <sighs> notions of ownership. Revelio. Deserve the same fate. Nice work. All right, let's go. Okay, 
Okay, we've been inside there before. I've been here before, that's why. That's I why agree. I know. Only good wizards are dead wizard. Ranrock's got that right. And I'll be most keen to help him achieve his goals in that regard. Akio. You can't stop Bombarda. This must be it. Sebastian, wait. Wait? For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated. But charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend. Stop oh. it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine, fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. Well, no shit. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Rebellion. All right, so I don't think I want to go straight because you know why? I thought, and I, I'm just going to show you, right? There is a tunnel here. And I thought from a, for a second that we were supposed to go down this tunnel together, you know? But it seems that this tunnel is going to stop me. Wait, huh? It's going to stop me. It's going to stop me. It's going to stop me. Wait. Rebellion. It's... Never mind, I've been here before. Was a chess area. And never mind, I forgot. I knew there was one place that was stopping me, and. <laughs> I swear something was gonna stop me, alright? And I kind of forgot that it was not that, but it was this place here. Yeah, this one. It stopped me from moving forward. Not that part just now. Alright, here we go. Tower, tower tunnel. Such a funny name. Here we go. Rebellion. Wouldn't it be funny if during a main quest, Sebastian sends you an owl, like there's a message, and then Sebastian is just standing right next to you. It's like, what? You know? So far, so good. Charming. Please, no more spiders. spiders. Oh, of course. Fitting. Oh, of course. Akio, send Revelio. Why is there so many spiders everywhere we go? Like this entire episode is just spiders only. Rebellion. Of course. Akio. Defeat an animal with a vanessa. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Did it do anything? No! Let it come to me! Okay, do your thing. Man! Never mind. There was a chest near there. Where? Revelio. Wait, there's a chest near where? At the top? Confringo. Ah, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. Revelio. This entire episode is just about spiders, I swear to god, man. Double layer of webs. One nudge in that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. Revelio. Okay, let's continue. Spider episode, I know, right? For someone who is a big fan of Spider-Man, I have very big fear of spiders too. So, which is like very these spiders are weird. determined to make a meal of us. Revelio. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. Come on, let's go. I hope I have enough space though. Prefer the man over the spider, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that makes me look sound so suspicious, man. Okay, here we go. More spiders. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Wow, just like that. I've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Oh crap. Wow, beasts, aren't they? Good job. What a kill that was. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Okay, we're going upstairs. Incendio! Revelio! I feel like on my Karen run, I'm not going to prioritize Incendio at all. I feel like it's a very underused spell. Like, it's good and all, but the range is just crap, you know? Rebellion. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Oh crap, more spiders. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh my god! Incendio. 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 Incendio.
Search for runes. All right, cool. Rebellion. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Rebellion. Wait, gotta loot everything first. Rebellion. Is finding these chests luck or instinct? It's true Revelio. Not luck, not instinct, okay? Revelio. Alright, so there's three things to hit. Damn, man. Sebastian, a journal entry. We should look for more. Why Isad couldn't she have kept all our journal entries in one place? Look, <laughs> Isadora is the next Voldemort, man. Okay, more spiders. Ring it. Ah, oh, crap, it's an ogre. Once at the ready, there was a rat in front of me. Many of them, what the hell is going on? Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh my god, bro. Get, why am I uh, invisible? Oh 
Wrong combo. like an angry troll to bring friends together. Uh, the clothing that make a uh, faster deal more damage for this. Yeah, I think so. The thing is, I haven't upgraded any of my clothing whatsoever. You know? Completely skip that part. What is this supposed to be? Rebellion. So wait, the troll was just hiding in here? Is that a chest up there? Did I miss a chest? Wait, I missed a lot of chests. Holy shit, there's so many chests that up there. That troll certainly made a mess of things. Debris everywhere. Okay. Confringo! Revelio. What are those platforms though? Why can I highlight those platforms though? They're so weird. Okay. Time to repair shit. Repair hey. Revelio. Repair That was a piece of work. More than one. Okay, let's go. Revelio. Anything here? What? Is it broken? What's broken? Damn, this gave me the vibe, right, of when Voldemort learned about Horcruxes. Rebellion. A journal entry is a door of It's literally the same vibe. It's like when he learned about Horcruxes, he really, really Rebellion. went all out on it. You know, I think Isadora also did the same for this. Ooh, hello. We love chess. Okay. I'm out of breath after all of those stairs. But the view, well worth it. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellio. Well, you tried. That counts for something. What? I got the chest. No, I got the loot, man. We love chess, big, small, and big. <laughs> it's funny. 
Another barrier. We can blast through it. I'm certain. Because that's the answer for everything. Just blast through it, you know. Okay. Good news. Rebellion. This journal entry sounds worrisome. Rebellion. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Good for you. Okay. Let's go. Bombarda. Uh, Rebellion. Almost as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the triptych pointed us here. Oh, another one. Interesting. When in doubt, use explosion, of course. Uh. Another rune symbol. Feel as if I should be rooms in runic language by now. Bombarda. Rebellion. Okay, so how am I going to hit them all at once? Let's see. I think we'll start from here. Okay. Rebellion. I didn't miss any chests, right? Yep, all good. Let's go. Could this be another area Isadora created? Yeah, Isadora man. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Wait. Quick question, how can the fire be burning for so many years? Centuries in this case. You know? Isadora, your tea, I mean your soup is done. You know, you probably overboiled your pickles and, and tomatoes, you know. Avatar Airbender one have fire that burned from the dragon from the for centuries. I've seen that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Revelio. That is true. That's when Aang and, and uh, Zuko learn how to firebend. I love the series, man. By the way, like anything about Airbender, freaking love it. Big fan. You know, such a big fan until I turn into an air condition. But um. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Didn't he just say, I Perhaps wish you could see her memories? The triptych will shed more light on all of this. Revelio. Okay, we are done with this quest. Yeah! You know, can we just go to the Undercroft and then just teleport over? Isn't it faster? I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. Yeah, why can't we just go through again, you know? All right, time to put this the last piece. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Here we go. Where's that? Whoa! A pensive. pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. Okay, let's dip our head into water. And drown. 
Here we go, here we go. The dad. I cannot bring my brother back, father. But I can give you peace. He's emotionless right now. You know? He's dead inside. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. Oh, this is her memory. This is her memory. I have something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. We watched this before, but from their memory, not her memory. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. Correct, correct. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. I wonder what's the spell name for this. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. Thank you. That worked. It did indeed. Oh. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. He doesn't know. Oh my god. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Not everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. She's cuckoo, man. She's cuckoo. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. No. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. What is we her have portrait? seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroth, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then, then for Anne. Oh my god. Okay, theory time. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Okay, why is Isadora not coming out from her portrait? That is the main question.
you know? Why is she not in her portrait? Oh, this is getting interesting, man. And the pensive is empty right now. There's no water inside. Oh, new new quest. So quiet. I don't see you there. I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. Okay, Lot God got another Lord quest. Lot God's getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him. Okay. Sebastian, do you have any other quests you want to give me? Oh no, there's only Lot God quests. Maybe if I go to another place, then I'll get more quests, you know? Wait, Hogwarts got another quest. Yay, another side quest, yay! Hooray, another side quest. Oh, the Ministry will hear about this! The fiends will rot in Azkaban! Hey, a portrait. Sir, are you alright? You seem to be in some distress. Alright? Do I look alright? I've been kidnapped! How can you huh? be kidnapped when you're right here? Uh. What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. I thought Genshin is side quest. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on that. Oh dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what Astoria Cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good for nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. A hovel of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Okay. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about Ooh, it. Ooh, he's a tattletale. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. Oh my god, he's a spy. I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. Seeing the coast, okay. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Alright. Off you go then. Better pay me though, but I'm not sure how he's going to pay me. I gotta charge my phone, hold on. Alright. <coughs> Bruh. Left 19%. <laughs> Astoria Cricket? That depends. 
Am I in trouble? Yes. Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocating is more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. <laughs> he truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. What? I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. I'm on her site. where you put him? I'm on her well, site. I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore. And if I were you, I should enjoy it. I like her. I like Lovely her. Lovely chatting with you. I like it. I will not put the frame back because I don't know. We'll see. Do you think I should put the frame back? Like, man, I want to see both versions though. So, ah, I mean, the right thing to do is to put it back, but we'll see. Jesus. What was that? Revelio. What in the world was that? I'll check your pockets after you're dead. Revelio. Okay, there are some baddies up there. What are we even doing here? We ought to be at the hog pen. This is a waste of our time. <laughs> Revelio. Are we going the right way? Apparently so. Ooh. You're easier to spot than in a rampant. Akio. Incendiary. To your knees. Coward. Levioso. Descend You're the one who stole our goblin window. Well, there, goblin house. But then it was ours. Levioso. Descend Oh, one more. Venite. Revelio. Oh, that for a stupid portrait, exactly. And I don't. I mean, based on her story, it doesn't feel like I want to do this as well. Ooh, a cow! Okay, I read somewhere online there's a. I don't know, I came across it, okay? I didn't look for this, but I have to do this, alright? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Flipendo. Apparently you have to flip a cow. There it is. <laughs> you have to use Flipendo 10 times to tip one cow. Awesome, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Slice and Ash when the duelist while he's casting Reducto. Slice with uh, Defindo. I'm sorry, cow. Where is he? Oh, he's down here. 
我靠！God damn, man! This place is creepy. Calm down. I'm here now. Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me. If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I over here, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Okay. I don't know what. Want to know why I picked? Yes, please. What do you pick? Did you pick the second one? Or did you pick the let's get out of here one? I have to know. Because obviously. You pick the second one. Uh, I mean, I want to pick the second one because I feel like this isn't the right thing to do, you know? I don't want to pick the second one. No, I don't pick the first one. Or oh, shits and giggles. Okay. Karen run. I'm going to play this game for the second run. No, no doubt about it. I will do the second option. But... Since you're here, we're going to do the first option. Let's see what happens, okay? I, I'm, I'm going to get shit for this. Let's get out of here then, shall we? Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. Take Ferdinand frame to the tree broomstick or the hog's head in. Oh my god, I can't. That's a third option! <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that you placed it in here. Ah! Uh, <laughs> this is great. This is great. Okay. Personally, even if I'm a Karen, I wouldn't want to put him back in the hogs. Oh, all your heavy stamping about is going to damage my frame. Okay, you know what? Even if I'm a Karen, I would not put him inside. Uh, no, I mean, even if I am a good guy or bad guy, this guy is going straight into hogs head already. Hogs head, here we go. He mentioned it's dark, where do we put him? Probably in our underwear or something. <laughs> Alright. This has to be good. What is the meaning of this? This isn't the three broomsticks! No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You've brought me to the wrong place! Absolutely vile in here. It's no three broomsticks, that's for certain. Please, you can't mean to leave me here. Please. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. I'm gonna go I, on YouTube. I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. <laughs> Please, you can't use me as target practice anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go on YouTube and search what happens if you put him back in the three broomsticks. I'm pretty sure I have to figure out. I will never do that, but I have to Google. I know I have to YouTube it because it's one of those things, you know. So pleased to hear that Joanne... Okay, let's see. Next quest. What is this? Oh, right, we have a couple of quests. Finding focus. Ah, 
I picked it for the lows, of course. Everyone would. Okay. <clears throat> said that travel broadens the mind some days are more different Lassie, is everything all right <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind and i feel peace for a day or two but this is not one of those times i miss him i miss running with him i miss mati belliland <laughs> He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Really? That's it? Okay. Okay, lady. Billy was a bit tipsy. Put him in the wrong place. Ah, there's a backstory to it. Nice. Ah, centaur time. Let's talk to the centaurs then. Hey, we have a new follower. Who is this? Laura Kate. No, wait. Laura Kata? Kata? <laughs> Hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Thank you for the follow. Rebellion. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. What is this place? Jesus, man. You made it. Poppy, poppy. I take it this means you had some. Are there are bees. The it took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. <gasps> oh yeah. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. God, yeah, well, I'm still huge. not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. Oh my God, it's a, a bit of a huge. leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Okay, the bees are huge, man. They're behind your head, man. Bro. <laughs> Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Okay, like, the bees are really distracting, by the way. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. Okay, let's go. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Rebellion. Let's go, Poppy. Another date. What? Discover all cane dungeons. <gasps> well done, everybody. Well done. Rebellion. Another trophy to the name today. Well done. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Oh Rebellion. shit! I forgot to sell my stuff, man. Oh no! Okay, I got 10 more slots, so it's still not that bad. Just make sure there's no more than 10 items here, okay? Then we are good. Incendio. Accio. Oops. My bad. Rebellion. 
mind trigger at the tomb of T whatever. <laughs> Please, no more spiders. That's all I'm asking for. You know, like, we could do other stuff, but no spiders. Oh, shit! Oh my god. Oh, crap. It's too close quarter, man. I can't figure this out. My timing is all off today. I don't know what's going on. She's using all of the cabbages though. I'm not sure what's going on with me today, man. I was okay battling just now. I'm not sure why I'm so messing up everything right now. This is weird. I feel weird. Good for you. I think it's safe to say that I'm still not okay. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> Lumos. Lumos. Do you have to use Lumos like me? Confringo. Bombarda. Revelio. Bombarda. Oh, cool. It's this way. Wait, huh? Where do you go? Lumos. Lumos. Where'd the butterfly go? Revelio. Wait, where'd the butterfly go? Lumos. Lumos. Uh. Did I just lose a butterfly? Bro, did I just lose a butterfly? Where did it go? Seriously, where did the butterfly go? What kind of glitch is this, man? Can I leave this place and then come back in again? I thought the butterfly would go back to where it came from. Wait, I'm lost. I'm very lost. Yes. Okay, let's try again. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You made it. Okay, let's see how I can skip this part. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took... Well, we're here. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Okay, triangle, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Maybe this time I... Maybe it's because I fight the Rebellion. dark bomb really badly just now. You don't think the rumors about the king are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Revelio.
Okay, we came from here, we're going through here. Confringo. Revelio. It's another aggressive one. Levioso. Oh crap, too early man. Too early again. Did she it's just... She's casting really good spells by the way. Okay. Okay, little butterfly. Wait, why is there a chest there? I didn't see. Oh, it's at the bottom. Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> Stupid butterfly. How could it just run away from me just now? Revenue. What does it do though? Is it because of Oh I can spin it? Does it do anything? I don't know. Bombarda. Revenue. Oh shit! Oh shit, okay, alright. I didn't see that. There we go. Rebellion. Okay, let's continue. Okay, a fupa. Foopers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Really? Akio! Revelio! Akio! If the moonstone is here and so are Fwoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Akio. Revelio. Oh, this is a combination Why am I not thing. Surprised? First the Fwoopers and now this. Okay, so we're looking for a uh, a uh, weird thing and a circle. A uh, weird thing Akio. and a circle. Rebellion. We need to find marks for those spinners. Lumos. Lumos. It's so cute that she uses Lumos with me as well. Circle and that. Akio. Lumos. Akio. Oops, my bad. Perhaps the rules of Revelio have something to do with finding the moths. Yes, yes, I already figured it out, don't worry. Revelio. Let's -a go. Another obstacle. 
No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. I you I work out or I work out? Rebellion. Okay. How are we supposed to drain the water? This is a very, very interesting quest so far. Rebellion. I wonder if she's gonna join me though. Nope, she didn't join me. At all. She can't swim. Oh wait, no, she is. <laughs> She's right here. Christ, man. She uses a lot of those Chinese cabbages, you realize that? She loved those things, man. God damn, this map is huge, man. So confusing as well. Looks like we need to drain the water first. Come on, swim faster. Rebellion. Okay, what is in that area? More chests? Drain the water, increase global warming. <laughs> I think I'm in the right place. To collect chests. Here we go. Alright, very cool. Okay, here we go. That's a way to drain the water, I'm sure. Rebellion. There's a chest here. Akio. Rebellion. Hey, we're back here again. Oh, I get it now. Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> oh, what did I think of that? The artifact of a chair. I know I saw that too. Rebellion. Okay, I don't know what this does. Oh shit! Never mind. I was trying to figure out what that thing does. Lumos. There we go. It's beautiful. Okay, this is kind of cool. Very good puzzle. I like it. I do like a good puzzle. You did 
did it. Revelio. Oh crap, not these again. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Why? How did I cast so slow? I don't understand what just happened. Are you kidding me? Take a closer look. You read my mind. <sighs> Alright, more diving class. <laughs> Damn, this map is huge. What is this place? Wow. Revelio. This is where the golden snidget is. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Let me burn the place down first, okay? Because screw you, Mother Nature, right? Given what swoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now. I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Revelio. Means we're one step ahead of them. Oh, we haven't found the golden snitch yet. We're just looking for the moonstone. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. All right, we can finally evolve our Clefable. No, sorry, our Clefairy. My bad. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Okay. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. Who? That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. It better have to do with Snidget. <laughs> I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. Yay! I think that's it over there. Uh, can I fly? No. <laughs> It doesn't allow me to fly, man. Come on. Why did you bring me How's all the way up here? Doing, by the way, nothing keeps Gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. What am I doing? <laughs> I thought this is the path. Wait. Am I not going it right? There we go. I can give you a live on my broom. <laughs> Revelio. Alright, here we are. I think we can say Look a hole. We know where the moonstone goes. It's safe to say where the where to put the thing in the hole, you know? Okay, never mind. I thought it was... It's just a moon calf. I thought it was the golden snidget. 
<laughs> That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Are they drawing something? Yes, they are. They're drawing something. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two moon calf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I got... Hmm. She seemed hesitant. She seemed hesitant, though. But I want to hear it. I'd love to hear about how you and High Wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see... The night I freed Highwing was <gasps> also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Oh, wow. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. Hmm. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. Mm, someone to date. <laughs> what was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. That's so sad. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there, at Cromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. I think if her parents are here, I would probably already killed them because of my exploration. <laughs> We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. True. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. Cool. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Okay. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. Your parents are around. Yeah, how you know? Well, <laughs> they were my most recent kill. 
Noise. Alright, thank you, Poppy. Pew. Okay, I think we are done for today. Well done, everybody. Round of applause, you know. Okay, I have another talent. I already maxed out these two. Am I going to do anything with dark arts? Probably not. Right. I think I might put a bit of rumor requirement uh, stuff. Uh, fertilizer, invisibility potion, maxima potion, headache. Yeah, I don't think I ever use potion stuff that much anyway. Ah, let's put a bit of dark arts. Ah, okay, let's see here. I'm not going to use any of this cursed stuff, so probably won't even touch it. Uh, Crucial Mastery, Imperial Mastery, not going to touch it. Enduring Curse, uh, Slowing Curse. What about this one? Blood Curse. Oh, I think this is not bad. Alright, I like Poppy. We all do. Okay. Alright, so in terms of quests for the next stream, we'll probably look at Lockgog Loyalty and then we're pretty much done with that chapter. I think after that, it's past winter already, you know? Yeah, alright. See you next time, Evo. Thanks for joining.